Okay, so today we're going to look at how you can clear some space on your iPhone or iPad and also in your iCloud too. Try and free up that bit of space. Now, there are several ways of doing this, but this particular feature I didn't realize was taking up quite a lot of space on my friend's iPad and I couldn't work it out. I thought, why have they, they haven't got much on the iPad, but why is it they're low on basically it was iCloud space when I was trying to transfer their iPad across to a uh, a new iPad it wanted me to back it up to the iCloud and they only had the five gigabytes the free five gigabytes and there just wasn't the space but there wasn't that many photos on there not that many emails n no music on there whatsoever no videos but uh, I couldn't quite work it out so this video we're going to look at this often overlooked feature which does take up quite a bit of space stick around all the details coming up shortly so as i say this guide is going to show you a often overlooked feature of the iphone and ipad which can take up quite a lot of space on your iphone or ipad and in turn if you're backing up to the icloud it can take up a lot of space there too uh, if you've only got the free five gigabytes then you're going to run out of this space pretty quickly so it's a good idea to keep your iphone or ipad run as a tight ship with no extras on there which are likely to fill up the iCloud space so what it was it was the actual pictures so let's just go into pictures there and here's a few pictures I've taken and they all look good pictures yep can you see that we've got pictures of my cat there but a couple of the pictures as you will see have got like that stacking effect on them can you see that there there's a, a little stack whereas that one in the middle hasn't got it and that one just there has got it and what that means is these are burst shots now what is a burst shot now if I just go back into the camera and if I was to take a photo I know not a very interesting photo now you'd normally push this button here so I push it once and there we go, it's taken the photo. If I was to press the volume up or down button and hold it down, it takes what's known as a burst shot. Or the other way it can do it is if I hold my finger down on the button, there you go, it's taking a burst shot. So, and a burst shot is a series of photos. It's, uh, it's the idea is if you're taking a photo of something moving, you can hold your finger down on there and then go back to it at a later date and pick out the best photo from the burst shots. So that's what I'm gonna do. Let's just go back into photos. So there you go. There's say that picture of my cat there. As you can see, there's several. So if I tap on that, We've got up there in the top left-hand corner, burst 30 photos. So it's telling me that there's 30 photos in that burst there, 30. And that's, you know, I only need one. So let's just tap select just up there. And there we go. It asks us to choose our favorite. Now I should say I am running iOS 17. So yours might be different. So as you can see here, there's all these photos of my cat. Most of them are the same. As you can see, there's very, very little difference between these photos. Maybe the cat's turned its head a little bit. So, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna choose which one or which ones we wanna keep because we certainly don't wanna keep all 30. That's 30 pictures, that's that's 30 times the space it should be taking up or 29 times the space it should be taking because it's storing those on the iPad or iPhone and it's in turn backing them up to the iCloud, take storing and backing up 30 photos. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna choose the best photo. So, okay, let's just choose that one there. So I'm just gonna tap the circle as you saw there, sorry, it went a bit fast, tap the circle and there you go. A white tick appears in there, which means that is the photo I want to keep out those, that 30. If I want to keep another photo, I can just tap another one there. 
So at the top of the screen there now, it says two photos selected. These are two photos that are gonna keep. The other 28 photos in that burst are gonna be deleted. So let's just tap done. So we've got two options here. Would you like to keep the other 28 photos in this burst? So we've got keep everything or keep only two favorites. Well, I only wanna keep the two that I've just picked, the ones that I just tapped on the bottom right hand corner of the photo. I'm just going to keep those two. So let's just tap done, tap keep only two favorites. If I press the back button, it's kept those two there and they're individual photos. When I go into them, I haven't got the select up the top there. So let's just go back and let's just go into one of these photos here that I took earlier, the burst photos. As you can see there, it says burst 35 photos you know that's a lot of photos and again like I say we can go to select there and select the best photo we want to keep well to be quite honest with you I don't want to keep any of those um, so let's just cancel that tap on the bin it says here delete 35 photos from this burst these photos will be deleted from the library they will be in the recently deleted for 35 days so let's just go delete 35 photos and we've got another one here burst there you go 41 photos so again I'm just going to go over it quickly if I want to like select one of these photos to keep then tap select okay find the photo by scrolling left and right which one is best so let's just tap the circle in the bottom right hand corner of that one and then tap done and then say keep only one favorite okay and that's going to delete the rest of them and only keep that one photo so it did mention back there about sending the photos to the deleted items so let's just go back there let's press the uh, this this icon here and let's just try and find deleted items in there you go recently deleted go into there and if we want to empty out the recently deleted so we can just tap on select just up there select the items we want to delete or we can just tap the circle with the three dots in the bottom right hand corner tap on delete all if we're sure we want to get rid of these and they go delete from this ipad they've gone from the recently deleted now another way I've just noticed on here that you can see the bursts, which is all the photos that have been sort of taken several copies of the photo. What we can do is let's just go back to our normal library. OK, we can tap on this in the top left hand corner, get the menu up and then there you go. You've got bursts there so you can tap on bursts and that shows you all of the photos that are bursts on your iPhone or iPad and you can just tap on those and then do the same. Tap select, select the photo that you wanna keep. Select that one. So I've just, I've just tapped the circle in the bottom right hand corner of the photo I wanna keep. Tap done. Tap keep only one favorite. And there we go. It's gone on to the next burst photo and again, I can select what I want to keep. So let's just go select, swipe left or right. Okay, find the one you wanna keep. Tap the circle in the bottom right hand corner. Tap done in the top right hand corner. Tap keep only one favorite. Now there's no bursts on here. Obviously we wanna go into recently deleted. So tap on, sorry, I'm going a bit fast there. Tap on that in the top left hand corner. Tap recently deleted, tap select. Go down to the bottom, tap the three dots and go delete all and then tap delete from this iPad. And there you go. Let's just tap on that symbol there in the top left hand corner to get the menu up. Go back to library. And as you can see now in the library, I've got no burst photos. If I want to double check that, I can just tap on the menu icon in the top left hand corner and under media types, bursts has actually disappeared. So that indicates there are no burst photos on the iPad. So there you go. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Or have a look down below in the description. 
If you're in the market for a VPN, a Fire Stick, Fire TV Cube or Fire Stick accessories, or just want to have a look through my Amazon store, there are loads of links down there for you to have a look at. Buying, donating and subscribing really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching and bringing you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're gonna find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. If you think your friends, your family, or your work colleagues might like any of my videos, then please don't forget to share them on your social media timelines.